This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. I am just waiting for the day that I accidentally click start streaming instead of start recording when we do one of those. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, oh, Cover Ford is live on Twitch streaming the sixth Ace Attorney game. He's still uploading the first Ace Attorney yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. Anyhow, hi guys, welcome back to Miles Edge Face Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path. Man, last time, exciting stuff. Sebastian underwent like the best character development ever. Yeah. And has toppled his father. But now, we are finally in the Grand Turnabout Middle, Part 1. And now that we are full with good Italian food, we are ready yes, to sit down Yes, good Italian and bread. Place. Oh my gosh, we got so much bread. So much bread. It was amazing. So good. Oh no, oh Penny. And and I almost said Leone. What? what? Lada and Lada. Nicole. And I've been playing too much Fire Emblem Three Leone. Houses. <laughs> She's a character in Fire Emblem Three April 6th, 2.52pm, outside the Grand Tower temporary film lot. Uh, um, c could you please give it a rest already? The heck? I'm telling y'all, it's been best for all you sakes. Come clean. The staff has their lips sealed se shut. <laughs> I can't talk. Staff has their lips sealed shut as the reporters continue the tenacious negotiations. A lot of big words in there. <laughs> oh, a, a police officer. A rock, paper, scissors for it? Sure. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Alright, Marty does it. If you're not here to cooperate with the investigation, I must ask you to vacate the premises. <laughs> nice accent. Put a sock in it, copper. Y'all couldn't even stop Mozilla's invasion. Not only did they secretly raise a giant monster, but now the staff's trying to cover it up. I love the different voices you give them now. Like I said, we haven't been raising any monsters here at the film lot. But they all y'all all, said nothing that the, the door to yourself! <laughs> Sure, I saw it, but I couldn't understand you at all. It's not like we were keeping it at the film lot. Mind if we button? Oh, that's probably Mind not if we true. button? Mind if we button? <laughs> ah, Mr. Edgeworth. And John. Oh, y'all come here to search for the monster too? We're searching for a criminal, not a monster. I forgot a lot. Lane Z says... This darkness inside a criminal's heart can be likened to a monster. Well, when it comes to killing people, criminals aren't much different from monsters. I need his coat. Agent Lang, this is a problem. I can't let... <laughs> I, can't, I can't let outsiders enter the crime scene. These are all key figures in the case. I'd like them to be here when the investigation resumes. Agent Lane? Regarding the, what you said about resuming the investigation, where do you intend to start? We'll start by reviewing the case. Today, the body of President Juan was found here at the film lot. The president's whereabouts from two nights ago are still unknown. It seems he snuck out from under the eyes of his bodyguards and ventured outside. And that night was the last time he was seen alive. It was when he met with you, Judge Courtney, on the roof of the Grand Tower. So, why did you meet with the President? That, I cannot say. You can't tell us, even under suspicion of murder? Can't say? Why not? Miss Courtney, if you don't say anything, you'll only be more suspicious! Marty's voicing everyone except two characters. Ha! She must have a reason to clam up. I think you're somehow involved in the president's assassination. Well, what if the president and DeBest were together on this? He's Which like, DeBest? Uh, the, 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 Horace. No, not Horace. Blaze? <laughs> Horace DeBest. Blaze DeBest. Yeah, like, the president starts the blackmail that night. Oh, wait, you think the president was one of the customers at the black market auction? Yeah, maybe. Can you imagine? He's like, I have to buy my bear back. <laughs> yes, I literally think that's what it is. Oh, interesting. Objection. Objection. The president's body was only discovered today. That still leaves a blank of one whole day after Judge Courtney met with him unaccounted for. Don't be so impatient. We're gonna fill in that blank right here, right now. The evening on that blank day in question is what's important. What happened here last night? So, why don't you tell us, John Marsh? Me? We 
know you were here last night. What? what John was here. Between that little Missy's testimony and the footprints we found, we can easily prove it. John, you were rehearsing here last night, right? You were spying on me? Uh, um, I'm sorry. I just came in to check up on things. You really shouldn't be staying up so late, you know. Mind your own business! <laughs> John Marsh, that young lady was worried about you. You will not speak to her like that. Sorry. How many times have I told you to be more mindful of the way you speak? <laughs> She's definitely his mom. <laughs> yep. Is it just me or does Miss Courtney's personality seem kind of different? She seems to be as strict with her own son as she is with her those who violate the law. <laughs> Are you listening to me? And earlier as well. <laughs> I like that. Shut up. You should always bear in mind. No matter the occasion. Can we get on with the investigation already? Ah, pardon me. For Judge Courtney to get carried away like that. This must be her motherly side. Agent Lane, do you suspect John? All I want is the truth. Why was the president killed? You think a ch kid? I almost said a chid. A you think kid. you think an echidna killed him? <laughs> I gotta protect this place. I do it for my race. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you know, you know how, how it is. is. <laughs> and I want to know who killed him. I'll do whatever it takes to find out. It seems the president was like family to him. John, would it be all right if we ask you a few questions? Sure, it's fine. I've got nothing to hide anyway. Oh boy, John's rehearsal. I wasn't feeling too great until during yesterday's shoot, so I made a few bloopers. They're reshooting the scene today, so... Well, I decided to rehearse a little on my own, that's all. I do it all the time, there wasn't anything out of the ordinary. You were rehearsing alone that late at night? John, when I called you last night, you told me you were at the hotel. You called him? And about what time was that? I believe it was around 11 p.m. You don't have your kid back home at 11 p.m.? He's like 12 or 13! <laughs> Get 13. your crap he's, together! He's 13. Okay, to be, to be fair, this is Japan California, which is much safer than America. <laughs> With all the crimes that are happening around here? Okay. I don't think so. Okay, crimes happen all over America, though, bro. I know, but still. Like, Japan is Sebastian actually- Sebastian walked out of the, like, the Grand Tower for two seconds and then got kidnapped and then also in the crazy taxi. So. And then, yeah, and then John got kidnapped by the I garbage man, or whoever. <laughs> I require him to call me every night. That's our rule whenever he stays away from home. The truth is, I was at the film lot during that time. <laughs> so you lied to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> she gets her epic judge music when she's disappointing her kid. <laughs> Miss Courtney sure is angry. I think it's admirable that he practiced on his own, even if he hid it from his own mom. I'm sure she was simply worried. Why <laughs> couldn't you- The hotel room's big. Like, hotel rooms are usually like- <laughs> Mr. Mosby kicked them out. <laughs> no, like- hotel... Not in my lobby. <laughs> hotel rooms are usually like two beds with outlets behind the beds so you can't charge your phone. And like, yep. a desk. Like, or like a dresser. That's mm -hmm. it. You have totally enough space to act and move around. Who knows what could have happened to him out alone so late at night. And in reality, he did get caught up in yesterday's incident. But John said there wasn't anything out of the ordinary, right? Is that really the truth? John's rehearsal. Yeah, I've learned Blaze's voice and Lane's voice. Kind of take a my toll on my throat. My voice does hurt a wee bit. We don't have to record for too long. No, it's okay. I don't mind. I don't need... Who needs to talk? Well, What's if I stream Clannad tomorrow, then... Yeah. I'll yeah, back... Remember back in the days when I streamed Clannad, everybody? Man, those were good times. <laughs> I'm assuming you finish by the time this is uploaded. How long would no. After Story be? No, uh, <laughs> I... I have three Ace done. Attorney games to upload before this. <laughs> you do, you have Plus a Ghost Trick. <laughs> plus... Oh, plus Ghost Trick. <laughs> Who knows when this will be uploaded. John, you said you didn't feel well. Could you tell me more concretely what was wrong? That doesn't matter! I wasn't just- I just wasn't feeling well, right? You weren't feeling well? Maybe you drank too much milk. What? How did you- uh, No, I mean, that's not it. 
I wonder if he drinks milk so much because he wants to grow up big and strong. That's what's implied. Because he didn't feel well because of his stomach. When I was young, I was told that chewing milk made it easier on your stomach, were you know? Chewing milk? What? I think that might be a typo. This conversation's over! Anyway, I made a few bloopers. I don't like milk. I mean, it also doesn't like- I can't like, drink milk I, It doesn't gagging. like me either, but- They're yeah. reshooting the scene today, so. <laughs> so they plan to reshoot the scene today, and you were practicing for that last night. My mistakes caused a lot of trouble for the people around me. I'm a pro, so practicing that much more is natural. Hmm. He certainly does have an admirable sense of responsibility. You have to be if you're a child actor. <laughs> Dexter, didn't we have this talk about, about responsibility? responsibility. <laughs> John's incredibly dedicated to his craft. <laughs> Why does she have the sneaky smile there? Like, oh, I just stole five cookies from the cookie jar. <laughs> <laughs> she does look like that. He didn't even make any major mistakes in these bloopers. But he said if he would make the movie just a tiny bit better... Shut up! You don't need to go around blabbering about stupid stuff like that! Uh, I'm sorry. If only he was a little more cooperative, I'd have no complaints. I can't believe Lotta's this quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to see Gordy! <laughs> we have to see Gordy happening! <laughs> She's taking pictures everywhere. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. Well, I decided to rehearse a little on my own. John, about your testimony just now. John Marsh, do I, don't I always tell you? If you're going to practice by yourself, you have to let me know beforehand. I, I know. My time to speak was completely stolen away from me. I shall ask you once more, John, about your testimony just now. But you know, John, I think that's really great. Ugh, again? I bet putting in honest effort like that would make someone even more talented. You'll go from a, little, from a little thief to a middle thief, and then someday you'll become a great thief! I'll be doing my best, so you do your best too, okay, John? Kay, why are you so irrelevant to this game? <laughs> yeah, Kay, I kind of forgot she was here until, like, she got John. Like, yeah. that entire thing could have been solved by Gumshoe. Honestly, apart from Case 4, Kay could just not be in the game, and the whole game would basically be Case exactly four? the same. Case 4, where she lost her memory. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you could have replaced that with another character, though. You could have been right. like, oh, Penny fell off the roof. <laughs> It doesn't work as well, because it has to be someone close to Edgeworth. Oh, Edgeworth fell off the roof. Now then, if I may... <laughs> John, do you often rehearse in that way? At last, at long last, I finally go to ask my question. <laughs> I do it all the time. There are no mistakes in that testimony, correct? Of course there's no mistakes. It was just a normal, peaceful night. Nothing out of the ordinary happened at all. A, a peaceful night? How can you say that when this incident like this has occurred? Kay, he is still a child. Please don't get too seriously angry. She's also a child. So, there was nothing out of the ordinary. What are you talking about? She's just as much of an adult as Ariel. Oh, wait. Ariel's not an adult. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> she doesn't know anything at all about the incident. Well, that's the impression I'm getting. But isn't there evidence that shows something did happen last night? Yes. I don't have time to waste dealing with a child's lies. Let's present the contradiction. Oh, what's it feeling too good? Gee, so I- So it's been I a while what's since- been... Nothing out of the ordinary. Mozilla head fell off the roof. That's pretty weird. Concrete's broken. That's pretty weird. Two nights ago, the president fell. Oh, yeah, That's she said- weird. No, she said the president never passed through the storeroom. Should we show his tape? Because something weird happened? Monster's footprint can be seen? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. I'm good at this. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary? That's a lie, isn't it? We have evidence right here. Uh, could that be? That's right. It's the video you recorded of your performance. Ugh. What? You're telling me you have video from last night? Exactly. And in this video, there is clearly something that is out of the ordinary. Th this is a monster's footprint! Would you say that monster's footprints are commonplace on a film set? <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. Sean, why did you conceal this video from us? No reason, really. Hey, 
Pup, this is no joking matter. You had a reason to hide it, right? John Marsh, answer him clearly. But Mom... Well? I didn't want anyone to see me rehearsing. That's understandable. No, they're like blank stares. That's totally normal. I love this theme song. I love it. In other words, you're embarrassed about ever seeing you practice. Yeah. Got a problem with that? You're saying that's why you hid the evidence? John! <laughs> I like his damage animation. Quit nagging me! You already busted me with- What more do you want? Yeah, the footprints were there, but I just practiced and headed home. How come you're so calm after finding those footprints? It's a monster, you know? A real live monster! I thought it was just a part of the set. Besides, there's lots of other weird stuff around here, too. He's suspicious, Chief. This kid's really suspicious. You're right! The smell of scoop stinks to high heaven! Shut up! We're done talking! We're not done here yet! What now? The monster's footprints weren't the only unusual things that happened last night. Besides the monster's footprint, whatever unusual thing happened last night? Um... Um... The Luzilla head fell? I, I remember things. A monster's head fell from the roof of that building. Surely you must have known about that. I don't know anything about it. Is that true? I told you, I, I just practiced a bit and then I went back. I don't know anything about Mozilla's head or falling or anything like that. Or do you have evidence to show that I know something? There certainly isn't any evidence of that. It's also possible that it fell after John had already gone back. If there's no evidence, then like I said, we're done talking! It seems that John doesn't really want to talk about last night. Could he be hiding something after all? Wait up! Agent Lane? <laughs> it's as I thought. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. This video backs up my logic. Huh? Is there something in the video that's related to the case? Yeah, take a good hard look at the monster's costume in the top left. The Mozilla costume? Try comparing it with the one over there right now. Hmm? It looks like it's just hanging there limply, or limply though. And the zipper on the back is zipped up tightly. Zipper on its back. Whoa! The, this discrepancy is... Yeah, the difference is plain to see. I thought that that was a scale, I'm not gonna lie. In the video, the zipper is clearly open. That's right, someone was inside. What?! Mr. Powers, is the costume zipper on usually? It's always zipped up tightly when it's not in use. Mr. Prosecutor, do you remember my logic from before? I think, I think Courtney's in there, trying to sneak up and practice, like, watch it, her son practice. Two nights ago, Courtney pushed the president off of the roof and killed him. Afterwards, she snuck into the film lot to hide the body. Oh. In here. Wouldn't it be easy to hide a body in a costume or behind all this equipment? Then all she had to do last night was retrieve the body. You're saying the body was hidden inside the costume? Yeah, that's right. Judge Courtney? Two nights ago, you pushed the president off the roof of the tower. You then hid the body inside the monster costume. I... I did no such thing! Say what you want, but you're the only one who could have done it. That should have already been proven impossible. The film lot was, was locked at the time. Judge Courtney could not have entered this place. And what if there was an accomplice? What? I'll tell you my reasoning, so listen up. She's gonna think that she- he- Does he really think that she got her son enlisted in this crap? <laughs> Mother and son theory. When the president was pushed off of the roof, John was waiting at the film lot. He's too shrimpy to do anything. If John was an accomplice, then the problem with the locks would be resolved. The two of them then hid the president's body. Inside that monster costume over there. 
I mean, here's what we do. We open up the costume, and we smell for blood. President didn't have blood, though. We smell for dead body smell. <laughs> we smell for the president's B.O. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very prevalent. You think this crime had such an elaborate plan. Are you kidding me? Have you played the other Ace Attorney games? Do you remember the circus case? That one was crazy. <laughs> to take the life of a nation's president. An elaborate plan is to be expected, don't you think? With a prison case from this game? Yeah. That was also convoluted. John and would out. never take part in such a crime. You're the one being suspected. Your words don't carry much weight. I wouldn't think those two had sufficient motive for something like this, though. Well, maybe they had a motive that we don't know about. You were the last one to meet with the president, and you're still keeping the details secret. Don't you think it's only natural that you're being suspected? It's kind of true. Judge Courtney, is there no way for you to tell us your secret? My apologies. I just cannot, no matter what. Then Phoenix Wright bursts out, I have the Magatama! <laughs> However, when the time I can talk about it comes, I will surely let you know. So, if you could please... Her husband's also kidnapped. <laughs> that would be insane. Believe you? Is that what you wanted to say? That's what all criminals say. And you pup. If you've got an explanation, hurry up and spit it out. I didn't do nothing. That's all I'm saying. Both mother and son won't talk. You still gonna defend them like this? It's true. Judge Courtney's actions are a mystery. However, we still don't know whether or not that ties in with a motive for murder. Yeah, that's right. Their motive for murder can wait. For now, let's talk about the situation surrounding the crime. And the fact that these two are the only ones who could have done it. It's kind of true. They are the only suspects right now. Hey. Do you really- do you actually think it is Penny? I don't think so, but like, I would not- I would be really surprised. Cause it has to be someone who can get on the film lot. Right. I don't think- uh, I almost said Winston Powers. Will Powers? Will Powers. I don't think he'd do it after that whole murder incident thing. <laughs> Penny was literally gonna kill us if we didn't give her a card once, so she might do no, it. No, she didn't- she wasn't gonna kill us. She, she was, was gonna, gonna kill herself. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, John was waiting at the film lot. Agent Lane, don't tell me you're saying John was an accomplice. John still looks like a grade school kid. He's even got a kitty backpack to boot. How could he be an accomplice? There's just no way. Like I said, John's already in middle school and the backpack is a part of his costume. Lane Z says... I miss Sheena handing him the scrolls. No matter how young the cub, never pity an ungrateful pup. He may be a little brat, but a villain deserves no mercy. Ugh, so Langsy didn't make any allowances for age. Mr. Prosecutor, you're not just defending him because he's a pup, are you? Hmm, of course. That was never my intention. I shall present suitable evidence in due course. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. My logic's just getting started. John is an accomplice, the problem with the locks would be resolved. How would that resolve the problem? I figured you'd ask that, Mr. Prosecutor. But you know, it's actually quite simple. Listen up. First, that woman pushes the president off of the roof. Hmm, she pushes him off. Then, that brat who knew the combination for the lock unlocks the film lock. I see. The combination unlocks the brat. Okay, it's the opposite. That's all it takes? With this, the problem with the lock is solved. Your theory that she couldn't get in because she didn't know the combination no longer flies. Hmm. Regarding the lock, that certainly is a plausible explanation. Agent Lane, thank you for your clear explanation. Please continue with what you were saying before. <laughs> if you're gonna give up, you better do it now. President Huang. I'm gonna be generous and say he's like... 200 pounds. He's probably more though, because he's really fat. There's no he way- He is 100% more than that. He's like 100% like maybe 250. There is no freaking way that like a kid could carry him or like do anything But they like could that. together. Yeah, but the way they were acting before with the whole like didn't know that um, 
didn't know that he was at the film lot. Maybe he's taking roids in with the milk. Also, like, wasn't she at the, um, the, pro the, the PIC? Pain in charge? Pain in charge? She was at pain in charge. I still think that would have been the best plot twist ever. Supposing those two were accomplices, why would they have needed to leave the body hanging there for an entire day? Why don't you give it a rest and take a good hard look at reality? Thanks to their trickery, our investigation has been confused up until now. Doesn't that about answer your question? Got it. Those two hid the body. Inside that monster costume over there. In the video, we cannot see the inside of the costume. So, can you really say for certain that the body was placed inside? Yeah, I'll give you that much. In that case, why don't we try examining it? The inside of that costume! There might be some traces left inside. Mr. Powers, may we examine the inside of the costume? Sure, go ahead. But it might be kind of stinky since I sweat a lot in there. This is incredibly dirty. That's strange. We always make sure to clean it after using it so that the sweat doesn't damage the costume. Isn't this just proof that someone besides you used the costume? I'd say that dirt from the body probably got in the costume. The president's body did fall on top of the monster's footprint. That must be where the dirt came from. Are you satisfied now? Why'd you help him, Kay? There's dirt inside the costume. It must have gotten there when the body was hidden inside. There's more than dirt in there. There's like little white balls. White pellets. So dirt got into the costume when the body was hidden inside. Wouldn't that mean that the dirt was transferred from the body? Ha! Isn't that obvious? How else would you say it got there? There's dirt stuck everywhere inside the costume. It looks particularly bad around the chest area. Dirt around the chest. We cannot overlook this fact. Mr. Lang's logic does seem to make sense. Indeed, if those two were accomplices, the crime certainly would have been possible. So it would be useless to argue that point. In that case, what should we do? Firstly, we should have Agent Lane explain his reasoning in more detail. Let's draw out more information. Yeah, that's probably where we want to yellow stain yeah. on his clothes. That's it. Objection! Dirt got onto the costume when the body was hidden inside it. Is that really the case? You have a problem with this? There is a fair amount of dirt inside the front of the costume. Yeah, that is a lot of dirt. However, I would like you to focus on the state the body is in. It's lying on top of the dirt, and yet there is no dirt on the front of the body. If the body really was inside the costume, then it's strange that the front of the body isn't stained with more dirt. Yeah. Well then, how would you explain it? How did the dirt get inside the costume? From the video footage, it's very likely that someone was inside the costume. But just who could it have been? Blazed best? Covered in oil? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm, where have I seen this? What's the matter, Kay? I just feel like I remember seeing something like that looked like this dirt somewhere before. Where was it? There were these bits of gray fragments mixed in with the dirt. Gray fragments. There does seem to be something other than normal dirt mixed into it. Something must have gotten stuck to it. And lots of it, I might add. Hmm. I don't Something know. got stuck to it. That may merit a closer look. Where did we see dirt that looks like what's stuck on the inside of the costume? Uh, hmm? Maybe the gloves? Definitely looks like the that. same. Yeah. This dirt has some gray bits mixed into it. Huh? And what of it? We found an item belonging to a certain man that was covered in the same type of dirt. That is to say, these gloves. Those dirt stains certainly look the same. But tell me, just what exactly is this gray substance? 
This gray substance is plastic, concrete, or paint. It would make zero sense for it to be plastic. So, concrete or paint? I don't know. This gray substance must be fragments of concrete. You mean... The stuff that was scattered around the monster's footprints? Exactly. Meanwhile, who do these gloves, which are stained with the same kind of dirt, belong to? Oh, I remember! We found it at Blaze's place! Earlier today, we went to Blaze's garage. There, we discovered these dirt-stained gloves. Come to think of it, there were also hammers, shovels, and other tools placed inside as well. Why would mechanics' gloves, intended to be used on machines, be covered in dirt? If he broke the concrete with the hammer, and then dug into the soil with the shovel, then it's only natural for dirt like that to get on the gloves. Then maybe... Yes, the true nature of the monster's footprints has been made clear. It's possible that these footprints were dug up by Blaze de Best himself. It's possible? <laughs> It's possible, you say? Please do enlighten me. Cause I honestly have no clue. Why on earth would he do something like that? Why did he make the monster footprints? Thinking about it, the answer must be he was digging something up or he buried something. Probably buried something. We can also look at the organizer. Okay, let's look at the organizer. Cause... Yada Grouse's yeah, badge, bug, bug was implanted. No one knows who wrote the letter to K. Combination, combination lock, lock. The, the rear entrance was open, forced open last night. Uh-huh. Uh, Moosewell Flyer, no. commemorative photo, crime scene notes, security camera photo, uh -huh. Grand Tower, Moosewell's head, Moosewell doll, the monster's footprint. The ground, wait, go back. The ground beneath them is exposed. Yeah, okay. Wattis testimony, the president never passed through, John's practice video. That's it. You oh, think that's the one? No, no. Boot truck, the driver was not inside. Mechanics gloves, the IS-7 incident documents. Oh, wait! We have those, or...? We do have those, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm trying what? to think of what was buried there, if there was something buried. This was written to Blaze. I'm all but certain there's a connection between Knightley and Dogen, Dogen's chess partner whose identity remained unknown until now, but he was actually Knightley all alone, that's proof enough. Tomorrow I'll show, I shall interrogate him in the warden's office. I'll get him to confess that he's one of Dogen's henchmen. That fiend he laid to rest in front of the flower bed 12 years ago is so you simply yeah, must retrieve it. Yeah, then that's it. It's possible he was digging something up. It probably went something like this. Last night at this spot, there was something that Blaze needed to dig up. For that reason, he broke the lock on the back door and sneaked onto the film lot. Using the hammer and the shovel, he set to work. But he couldn't figure out where he buried the dang thing? He placed the items he dug up into his bag, but before he could fill in the holes... <gasps> That's when Jean came to practice! Exactly. Blaze panicked and had no choice but to hide himself in the Mozilla costume nearby. <sighs> To think you would deduce so much from just a pair of dirt-stained gloves. Good thing we took those from the garage. Yeah. However, all of this is merely a possibility. Same with your theory. There's still no proof that he was the one who was in hiding inside that costume. For all we know, he might have left the scene once he finished digging. On the contrary, such proof does exist and it can be seen in the video. When this video was recorded, Blaze was definitely inside the film log. WHAT?! Though I can't blame Agent Lane for not noticing. The difference between the current film lot... ...and the one in John's video. Along with the state of Blaze's garage. It's all too clear that Blaze was still here. What proves that Blaze was still at the film lot when this video was recorded? Is it how the stuff looks... Is it that he didn't fill in the dirt? Or that he did fill in the dirt? No. What are you talking about? Is it the little dot there? 
the dot here. Yeah. This proves that Blaze was still at the film lot. Um, how exactly does it prove that? Yeah, I'd like a better explanation as well. Ah! So this has nothing to do with Blaze. If something belonging to Blaze can be seen in the video, then that proving that would be easy. Oh, okay. Mr. Richworth, isn't there anything that comes to mind? Something belonging to Blaze. Does anything like that appear in the video? That's what I'm saying. Well, Mr. Prosecutor, how about it? Is there really any evidence that Blaze the Best was there? There's no need to rush, Agent Lane. I have safe states. What's visible? Is it just my bad eyes? There's a little baggie back here. I thought that was a generator. This bag placed near the costume. There was an identical one inside Blaze's garage. First, the dirt on the gloves, and now the bag. It seems there is a connection. Mechanics gloves data updated in the organizer. And that's my proof. Blaze was inside the costume. Ergo, the president's body could not have been hidden inside it. Ah! Seems I was able to refute Agent Lane's reasoning. Someone needs to go investigate Blaze's house right away, pal! We need to know what was inside that bag! Yeah. Oh, this is you. Yes, sir. 